Welcome to the Joffrey and Millennium Park. I'm ABC7's Judy Sue, and I hope you have enjoyed discovering the Joffrey Ballet. The Joffrey is known as America's company of firsts, and we thank you for joining us as we mark another first with this evening's Joffrey for All celebration. The Joffrey was the first dance company to perform at the White House, the first to appear on American television, the first to create a ballet set to rock music, the first classical dance company to use multimedia, and the first to appear on the cover of Time magazine. The Joffrey Ballet was founded in 1956 by Robert Joffrey, whose name at birth, Abdullah Jafar Bey Khan, was given by parents who immigrated from Italy and Afghanistan. Joffrey and co-founder Gerald Arpino were true dance mavericks who believed in the positive and transformative power of the arts. The pair formed an ensemble that toured the country in an old station wagon pulling a U-Haul trailer from city to city, captivating audiences with unique and ambitious performances. After establishing a reputation in New York and Los Angeles, the company moved to Chicago in 1995, where it became the city's first resident international dance company, presenting an iconic repertoire, encompassing masterpieces of the past and cutting-edge works of today. The organization flourished, leading to the formation of the Joffrey Academy of Dance in 2010, providing a renowned education for people of all ages, abilities, and backgrounds, including artists and students from around the globe and community engagement programs throughout Chicago public schools. With Joffrey Tower on State and Randolph Street and the South Loop Studio spaces on Wabash, the organization keeps Chicago dancing across 77 neighborhoods. Committed to a Joffrey for all, the company creates pathways for everyone in our community to experience the joy of dance. Since 2020, Joffrey for All milestones include launching an adaptive dance program, increasing annual scholarships, and expanding the company's access to students from Chicago's south and west sides. The Joffrey Ballet ranks among the top dance companies in the world, presenting an annual performance season at Chicago's historic Lyric Opera House with innovative programming and a roster of artists representing more than 13 countries. From reimagining an ambitious new Nutcracker story set during Chicago's 1893 World's Fair, to commissioning the full-length ballet Anna Karenina, a world premiere production with original music, Led by Joffrey Board President Ann Kaplan, President and CEO Greg Cameron, and the Mary B. Galvin Artistic Director Ashley Weeder, MBE, the third artistic director in the company's 67-plus year history. The company tours internationally to renowned venues like the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., and reflects the diversity of America through its company artists, Academy of Dance, and community engagement programs. The selections you've seen tonight honor our past, embrace the present, and look to our future with works by choreographers Yuri Posikov, Nicholas Blanc, and Chanel De Silva. Next, we commemorate Joffrey's own Gerald Arpino with his seminal work, Sweet Saint Song. These pieces represent who the Joffrey is and what Joffrey for all truly means. And it is all made possible by you, our supporters, season ticket holders, incredible donors, the Joffrey's board of directors, and tonight, Joffrey for all celebration sponsors. To our beloved city, we invite you to celebrate this moment. Chicago, dance with us. The Joffrey Ballet, we move people.